Hey guys, this is one of the few uh, videos that I'm going to do where I actually do an unboxing and a review. I've been waiting on this figure for quite some time. This is the Loose Collector Heavy Metal Tarna. There's not a lot of videos out there on this figure quite yet, so I'm happy to be one of the few um, collectors to actually do a re review on this figure. I do have the Lady Death uh, Loose Collector figure, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Loose Collector does collaboration with Fison. So, um, so uh, um, technically, I have more than just that um, because I've noticed that they put their brand on. Um, well, excuse me. I, I guess that isn't Loose Collector. I guess that's Executive Replicas. So that's a different thing. But I but I think that Executive Replicas does uh, collaboration with this as well. But as you can see, it's a beautiful box. Um, I might hold on to the box a little bit. I normally never do that, but this is just such a beautiful box though. It's got the, the artwork, and it looks like the artwork, interestingly enough, is updated. Um, so it's, it's kind of got like that like Masters of the Universe Revelation slash 2000X thing where it's almost kind of like they updated this with the artwork a little bit. As you can see, it's it's um, updated right here too. So let's check out the back. That's the uh, iconic image. I don't remember that that um, that particular artist's name. I do know who he is. I, I have a I have a book with his artwork that showcases his artwork in it. So. Here's Tarna. If you would like, you can go ahead and uh, pause the video and take time to read that. Interesting. Um, you know, this is based off of the movie figure of Tarna. So, Tarakian, as they call it, even says it. I guess it doesn't say it on the bottom, but it says it on the... Oh, wait. That just says Tarna. For some reason, I thought that said Tarakian. <clears throat> Tarakian is the, uh, uh, the, the race of people that she comes from. Uh, much like how uh, um, He-Man is Eternian. So, let me pause this video, get this figure unboxed and set up, and then uh, we'll go through it. I'm very excited... Um, I love heavy metal. Um, I took a good chunk out of my 20s uh, collecting uh, back, back pages and, uh, um, and different magazines of uh, heavy metal and reading the comics, comics. So I'm really excited for this one. Okay, I don't have her out of the box just yet, but I just wanted to display this tray full of items. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell that this is a very impressive figure. Um, I have—I don't know if I mentioned um, before unboxing or getting on the getting on with the video um, that I actually have the Lady Death figure. So um, I like this body a lot. I, I love the scaling. Uh, these figures—they scale really, really well with Masters of the Universe Classics, Marvel Legends. Um, um, uh, WWE, so they're they're great figures for that. So um, let's get it. Let, let me just take time to take this all in, and we'll get her out of the package. Okay, there they are. Um, great figures. I was uh, kind of messing around with these as I was unboxing, and uh, they're really really cool figures. Um, they're uh, people were kind of, I, I heard a guy, um, from YouTube, um, I forget his channel, I left a comment, um, talking about this and how poor quality it is, and honestly, I just don't see it, I mean, I think that Loose Collector is sort of a, an experimental brand of action figure, so there's not much to go on with them, so they're gonna have, like, quality control issues, and they're gonna have, um, 
they're gonna have a like a high price range this was an expensive figure but um honestly if this were to be put out by hasbro this or like neca or or um uh, mattel it'd probably be just as high um actually the cool thing about these though is despite the quality control issues which there are some um uh the plastic on them does feel higher quality than those of hasbro and mattel um so like this avis like somebody was kind of pointing out that this is just a statue which it's not it's it's got it's got articulation to it um uh you know um it's the the head can turn it can't turn all the way but it can turn to like a real a realistic degree angle um the the wings can move up and down um and the legs can move a little bit but and they can pivot a little bit um uh, it doesn't have a lot of articulation i will admit that but i think with like animals and uh and beasts and stuff like that you don't really need a lot of articulation see um to be honest with you i think that animals um uh can get away with being preposed more than than uh um human action figures can so but it's but it's a beautiful um piece though very interesting very fantasy um if we just move Tarna off to the side for a minute like like that's cool you know um it it's like it's like to where like you think it's a pterodactyl but it kind of looks more like a bird like a fantasy type bird than it does a, a pterodactyl um the only way it even kind of looks like a pterodactyl is the is number one the lack of feathers and then um even though if if you look at any like uh um dinosaur books or prehistoric animal books um you'll find out that there were some species that they're that they discovered that actually did have feathers. Um, they weren't like bird feathers, but they did have them. But, uh, but you can see, you know, like it, it doesn't have any feathers. Um, the, uh, wings are, uh, are, are covered in skin similar to like a bat's, you know? Um, so, um, it, it, it does seem, uh, uh, pterodactyl like, but it also seems, more bird-like than pterodactyl. I think it's also just the nature. I mean, pterodactyls are are very um, pterodactyls are very like creepy and and like aggressive-looking creatures. Um, even if they weren't in history, they definitely look like they they are aggressive. So, and this this creature doesn't look aggressive at all. This creature looks very very passive, you know. So. Um, so yeah, this this figure definitely looks great. Now let's uh, focus in more on Tarna. Okay, here's the Tarakian herself, Tarna. Um, she looks great. I'm very pleased with her. Um, she looks like, I mean, she looks she looks like the movie. I'm I'm just gonna say that flat out. There was a guy that I, again I commented on who claimed that she didn't look like the movie, and I've seen the movie enough times, this looks pretty much like her in the movie, uh, she has more of a stern look, but if, if, if Tarna was neutral, uh, had a neutral look to her, if there was a part where she was neutral, and, and, um, uh, and, uh, like, they continued on with the series, basically, this is the expression on her face I'd imagine that she would have, this is more of a neutral expression as to where in the in the film they made it look like she was constantly angry, you know, and always had her guard up and stuff. So, but this is a great figure. I like this. Um, I like the, uh, you know, he pointed out the um, the shadowing on the arms. Um, he must have gotten kind of a bad one because it doesn't look nearly, the blush on her skin doesn't look nearly as bad as on on his as it does mine it actually looks really really good um it makes the skin look more realistic um especially with like women with like female skin like i've noticed that 
female skin tends to blush more than 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 male skin does. So, um, you know, there's there's always like kind of a reddish tint to a woman's body, um, and that's just because I think their skin blushes more than ours do. I love the breasts; they're huge. Um, they're they just look good. I love the type of type of uh, um, bra on her torso as well. It's got that um, that like classic uh, um, kind of half half uh, covering type thing where it really pushes them up. And then we got the back. Now, a guy was um, complaining about her uh, her uh, her butt and like saying that it's too big and uh, her, her, her legs are too skinny for how big her butt is and everything like that and that it sticks out uh, too much. Um, and I think it's fine. I think it's perfect. Um, just, uh, it is what it is. And, you know, I, I like the body that they use on, 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 um, on these females. And I, I really look forward to seeing, uh, Hellwitch, uh, Vampirella, especially Vampirella and, uh, um, and, uh, Red Sonia. So, um, I think this is great. Um, I used to, uh, read Heavy Metal Magazine all the time, and, uh, I just would love, like, the comics that they had with them. You know, I thought they were always just these weird, you know, com comics that, like, kind of... There she goes. <laughs> I don't have the most stable of surface, but she does stand up really good, so that's, that's not an issue at all. I'm gonna lean her up against Avis. Anyways, so, like... Yeah, like like I think I think they're they have like very experimental type comics to where like they um they they uh showcase different types of art and then like they'll showcase uh um they'll showcase uh and I just think that's cool just to showcase different types of art by the way, you know, and, and a lot of times it's really interesting art. And um then they'll, uh, and, and, and all their, all their, all their, uh, uh, graphic novels are interesting. Like, it's not always just, you know, blood and guts and sex and nudity. A lot of times it's also just satire, you know? Um, so, uh, uh, that's hers. I'm not going to go over the articulation. There's plenty of channels that do that. To me, going over articulation is very boring. But if you're if you're used to like Marvel Legends, um, then it's it's very similar to that kind of um, articulation. Uh, there's incredible detail on her. Again, I like the I like the blush that they do all throughout her body. Um, I like the uh, I like the breasts. Um, I like the hips. I like I like the butt. I like the face. Um, it's just it's it's all good, man. Um, the 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 leggings. These kind of trap jaw style leggings are really cool. Um, so let's uh, let's um, get her her accessories in because I want to go over the accessories. Here's here's the accessories. These are cool. Um, uh, they got um, they got the um, the sword. Somebody was also complaining that's. A plain sword. It's like, dude, watch the movie. It's a plain sword in the movie. The sword honestly is nothing special, um, and it's a little warped on mine. Everybody is kind of having an issue with their swords being warped. Um, I get it. It's an expensive figure, and you shouldn't have to have a warped sword. But um, you know, if you're buying this, you're buying it for Avis and the figure itself. You're not exactly buying it for the sword. You know, that's just my opinion. So, uh, here's the, uh, sheath to the sword, which is unfortunately also warped. Um, here's the, um, the alternate head. People were saying how this alternate head isn't much different. It's, it, it isn't much different, but again, I think it's just due to the fact that this is such a, uh, experimental brand, um, that, uh, that, um, uh, you're gonna have it to wear you're going to have it to where things aren't going to be 
things aren't going to be as consistent as like Marvel, or uh, as like Hasbro or as um, uh, NECA. So um, I think give it time, these guys will hone in on their skills. What I what I do like about about Loose Collector is that they they know how to make the female body with modern articulation without having it be a silicone body. So, and, and I like that. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get her, uh, outfitted. Oh, she also comes with these, uh, alternate hands, by the way. So, again, let's get her outfitted. Okay, here's the pose I went with. Um, I like the, uh, Scarlett Johansson butt pose. So, um, I'm a guy. Um, I can't, I mean, what can I say? Um, you know, I, I noticed that there's a lot of, like, straight shaming amongst, like, other men nowadays, but whatever. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about figures. Um, so, yeah. Uh, she, this is a really good figure. There, I don't see any quality controls other than the, um, warpage on the, uh, sheath and on the sword on mine um there's a little bit on avis there's a little like scuff on one of his wings but you know nothing too bad so um you know maybe i'm just optimistic but i i really like this figure um i like the proportions i love the scale um i like what you can put her with um, she can work very well with your uh, Masters of the Universe collection. She can work very well with uh, with um, uh, some of your Marvel guys. Um, she's just all around. If you're into fantasy, I highly recommend picking her up. Like if you have a Mythic Legions collection, if you have a Masters of the Universe collection, um, it, it, she would work well also with very well with uh, wrestling too. So. Um, so that, that's my thoughts on it, and I, I just highly recommend her. Um, let me do some comparison before I wrap up the video. Okay, here she is alongside um, a Mythic Legion's Belphegor and a, a Masters of the Universe Classics Demo Man. Um, again, I said, fits in very perfectly with Fantasy, fits in very perfectly with Masters of the Universe. In fact, if you have this, uh, um, Demo Man, uh, you know, um, you gotta pick her up, uh, this would, this would be perfect for, like, um, action figure photography, because Demo Man already looks like one of the mutants from, um, from the, uh, from, from the movie, so, um, highly recommend picking her up, just take that in, just, isn't that awesome? Okay, let's move on to another comparison. Okay, here's uh, another comparison. I have her with Kane. Um, just, uh, just I like this uh, aesthetic. Um, just kind of looks like she's Kane's manager or something. I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's who it is. Um, Tarna, if you're a, if you're a heavy metal fan, I highly recommend you picking this up. Um, this figure isn't going to be for everybody. I completely agree, or I completely um, agree with that. I'm very biased because I am such a huge fan of Heavy Metal Magazine. Uh, but I like Loose Collector. I was very pleased with the uh, um, with the um, uh, Lady Death. Just um, I just wanted to let you know, though, um, when buying them, uh, you're buying them because you want a, um, a Hasbro or Mattel style, uh, figure of these obscure female comic book characters. You're not necessarily buying them because, I mean, they are, high, they are high quality, but you're not buying them to, just to buy them. So, um, so you're gonna, you're gonna have things that are a little bit different with them. Um, so, 
like her joints are a little loose, but I don't consider that to be a QC thing. There's plenty of joint of joints on on a lot of my figures that are just really really loose. I mean, it's not just it's not just her. There's a lot of Masters of the Universe classics. There's a lot of um there's a lot of uh um there's a lot of uh um Marvel Legends. There's a lot of uh wrestling figures. Um, that are really loose as well, so, um, but, again, strongly recommend picking this up, um, if you like the channel, and you like what I do, and you like figures, um, uh, please consider, uh, like, commenting, and subscribing to my channel, um, I want to have my channel grow, and I want to get more involved in this community as a collector, um, and I, I just want to do more things with it. Um, I, I would love to hear from anyone. I'll always, I'll always, uh, um, reach, reach out to you and, and, uh, comment back and everything. Um, so that's the end of the video and, um, uh, stay safe out there. Um, just keep collecting.